news you can count on. A huge two-day concert is less than a day away from kicking off downtown. The Florida Country Superfest will feature some of the biggest names in country music. Action News' Erica Bennett is live inside Everbank Field. And Erica, huge crowds are expected, and that also means huge traffic this weekend. Huge is an understatement, Romney. Now, we are in the middle of Everbank Field right now where the stage is set and crews are finishing up the last-minute touches here. But uh, more than 100,000 people are expected to flood the area this weekend. But don't worry, we have the navigation guide you need to get around. When the lights kick on and the Florida Country Superfest begins, the River City will be in for a treat. We figure we're going to have the second biggest cocktail party in the world come this weekend. The two-day event features heavy hitters like Miranda Lambert. Jesse Rose, Florida Georgia Line and Luke Bryan. Don't matter. We've sold out every hotel here. We sold out every hotel for miles around. Yeah. I found out that Superfest tickets have been sold in all 50 states and Canada. That means big bucks for Jacksonville, but a potential mess on the roads. Here are some things you should know. The Main Street Bridge is scheduled to be open from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Fans will only be able to enter the stadium through gates 1 and 4. Fan drop-off and pickup will occur behind the baseball grounds on Georgia Street between Adams Street and Duval Street. No parking will be allowed on Bay Street beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday. And you're encouraged to arrive early and bring cash for parking, which varies at each lot. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it will have plenty of patrols handling traffic and making sure everything runs smoothly. This is the first time the Country Superfest has expanded outside of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but we have a feeling it won't be the last. We can't wait for the people to come here and experience it themselves and be ready to come back next year. To put this thing into perspective, Visit Jacksonville tells me that the Superfest got more paid views than any other event on their site ever. Reporting live at Everbank Field, Erica Bennett, CBS 47, Action News.